Rocket Girls Galaxy Squad Adventure, Chapter 23, Galaxy Squad. Oh no! Roxy cried. Rune was shaking. Old spaceships and other metal objects broke apart and floated up into the sky. The ground itself began to break apart. Whoa! Terrell jumped to avoid getting hit by a rusty barrel. Coslin looked ill. Did Dr. Odd really leave us? We can't get home or anywhere without him. Wukong gulped. Mm? This is bad. A million thoughts ran through Roxy's head. This planet is falling apart, she thought. I'll be trapped here floating in outer space. And worse than that, I brought Terrell here and Wukong. They'll be stuck here millions of light years from home. And it's all my fault. But the thing that bothered Roxy the most was Dr. Odd. I shouldn't have trusted him, she thought. Suddenly, a spaceship appeared just above them. A hatch opened, revealing a figure inside. Dr. Odd! Roxy cried. Get in! He shouted. Quickly! Everyone jumped into the spaceship. Dr. Odd grabbed the controls and flew up into space. You probably thought I left you behind, Dr. Odd said. The magnetic field went down and my moon drifted off groove. The planet's orbit is filled with debris. It took me a while to navigate back down to the surface. He flew past pieces of old rockets and satellites. Soon they were all back inside the moon. They sat in an observation room and Dr. Odd brought out tea and snacks. Through a large window, they watched as more objects drifted away from Groon. Coslin made a call to Delcor. She breathed a huge sigh of relief. <sighs> Good news, everyone. All the robots on Delcor stopped working. My planet is safe. Roxy called Mayor Bloom and found out that Metro City was also safe. What about that huge demon? Wukong asked. You mean Meltron? Coslin said. He's a robot, not a demon. He probably got destroyed inside Groon by now. Roxy nodded. He was practically falling apart when he escaped. Terrell smiled. Good. Coslin looked out the window. What will happen to Groon? She asked. Will it be destroyed? I wish I knew, Dr. Odd said. But even if it is, at least the Grunians aren't stranded on it. They left long ago. I hope they're safe, wherever they are. Maybe the planet will be okay, Roxy said. Look! More chunks of metal and old machinery left Grun's surface, exposing spots of green. Those are trees, Wukong said. Dr. Odd nodded. I believe Groon's forests will be able to restore themselves. Coslin looked around at everyone. I used to like working alone, but our team is pretty cool. It sure is, Terrell said. What should we call ourselves? Dr. Odd tapped his chin. You should call yourselves the Galaxy Squad. No, Dr. Odd, Roxy said. We should call ourselves the Galaxy Squad. You're a part of this team. Dr. Odd smiled. Now I'm a part of two teams, Wu Kong said. I like my other team, but one member is really lazy. You guys all work pretty hard. Terrell gulped. 
Our work isn't done. He pointed out the window. Meltron wasn't destroyed. He's escaping. Excellent!